Dear Dr. Jones, I act on behalf of a client who has indicated a desire to introduce the sport of salmon fishing into the Yemen. As a fisheries specialist, this is plainly ridiculous. I mean, there's just no way that salmon can, can survive in those sort of environments. I thank you for your time, Mrs. Chetwood Talbot. I'll see myself out. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm in charge of this ludicrous scheme to introduce salmon fishing to the Yemen. We need a good news story from the Middle East, a big one. I want a nice photo op. Introduce salmon fishing to the Yemen. To just warm up Anglo-Arab relations. Prime Minister's keeping a close eye on this one. Oh, happy birthday, Patricia. <laughs> this has just become a priority project. For Fred, it's just a complete nonsense, the idea that these fish that live in cold waters in Scotland would survive in the deserts. Firstly, we would need to trap 10,000 salmon, get them to the Yemen, alive, don't ask me how, allowing the salmon to migrate upstream, of course, until the dry season, when they will all die. It's very impressive, Dr. Jones. Look, I just made it all up. No, the drawing. Real talent, if I might say so. I believe the stars were wishing. Our Sheikh is very passionate about his salmon. He is different. He's a visionary man. It sounded reasonable for him that he brings his passion home. I have a dream that one day, when war is in the air, then someone will say, gentlemen, let us arise and go fishing. This guy. Something shifts in all of them, so everyone has a journey. We seek what we have passion for. The ingredients for the film are really rich. To have faith and hope in the most ludicrous ideas, I think that's really lovely. I was wondering if I was genetically programmed to dull pedestrian life. Do you think that you are? No. This is a new one I've invented. Is it? Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Yes, she is.